Hey YouTube, Jim Miller here, helping you find and keep the love of your life. I want to take a moment to thank everybody who's viewed the channel, some of the comments that I've received, and uh, ask you know if you have some comments or questions, put them in the comments down below, and I'll respond to them as I can. Maybe even make a video uh, for that. Uh, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, you know, and you feel like you're getting value here, I ask you to subscribe, like the videos, and click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content, which during the month of July will be every day. Uh, Anyway, I keep getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions uh, about the no contact rule and I wanted to touch on the no contact rule yet again. Uh, there are some, some misunderstandings out there. People think that the no contact rule is simply, you know, four to six weeks where you just don't talk to your ex, you have no contact with them whatsoever and at the end of such time they're just going to magically reappear into your life and they're going to love you and everything is going to go back to exactly the way that it was. And that is not the purpose of the no contact rule. There's a lot of information on the internet about the no contact rule. And uh, that is kind of false. Brad Browning in his X Factor guide uh, talks about the no contact rule somewhat. And it's a good program, by the way, and I do, I do uh, promote that program. 60-day uh, money-back guarantee, so you kind of can't really go wrong. Uh, but anyway, you know, and I'll put a link in the description down below that you can, you know, you can go and check the video out for that. Uh, but anyway, you know, he talks about the no contact rule, and he basically it's four to six weeks, and he kind of explains it in detail and, and what it's for. You know, the, the the no contact rule is it will make your if your ex is used to talking to you every day and you're used to being in communication every day, uh, and all of a sudden you just don't contact them at all, uh, and there is no contact whatsoever. It kind of shocks them into reality that hey, this is it lets them adjust to life without you. Uh, a lot of times people want to stay in contact, they want to keep having conversations about the relationship and where it went wrong, where it went right, and, and whatever else, and they just kind of want to drag that out and they stretch it out, and unfortunately that kind of gives that other person, that kind of gives you a chance to wean yourself away from each other, whereas the no contact rule, boom, shocks them right into it. Uh, but it's not a magic bullet. I've said this before, it is not a magic bullet, it is not because you're not just going to take 30 days away from your ex and she's going to call you or he's going to call you at the end of that time, oh, I love you. I mean, if you cheated on your ex, okay, you know what, that probably isn't going to work out. I mean, that's that's a betrayal of a whole other nature, uh, and that probably will not work out for you. Sorry, that's just the way that is. Uh, and you wouldn't want somebody who cheated on you either. Uh, so think about that. But the no contact rule gives you a chance to kind of reinvent yourself. It kind of gives you a chance to, to again, to become the best version of you that you can be without the daily, you know, without the daily worrying about, oh my God, my ex this, my ex that. Uh, is this our chance? Is this our chance? It kind of gives you some time to just kind of back away from it. Uh, I suggest that if you do follow the no contact rule that you take some time and you, uh, that you actually take some time for yourself, that you don't sit there and worry about your ex every single minute of every single day. Uh, when is she going to come back? Is she going to come back? Take that time for you. Take that time to, you know, reinvent yourself. I've said this before, and probably repeating myself some, but, you know, the no contact rule is a very effective tool in getting your ex back. It does help them to uh, rewire their brain, as Brad says. It'll help them to rewire their feelings in their brain towards you. Uh, but it's not a magic bullet. It doesn't work in every situation. It doesn't work for every person. Uh, so it's just something that, you know, you, you need to try and and, uh, and give it a shot, see what happens. Again, I'll link down to Brad's program down below if you want to just take take a look at that. Also, there's a, a free ebook in the in the description, uh, Seven e Simple Ways to Get Your Ex Back. Uh, I won't answer all your questions, but it will get you started on, on the path and kind of help you develop the mindset maybe that you need, uh, you know, to foster an environment for your ex to be able to come back. Uh, Again, I appreciate it. If you're getting value from the channel, I ask you to go ahead and like and subscribe to the videos. Uh, vi subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and I would ask you to click the bell notification so you are you are notified whenever I upload new content. Uh, kind of stumbling on my words tonight. I do apologize. But again, folks, this is Jim Miller helping you find and keep the love of your life. Have a great night. Good night.